All right, g'day and welcome. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you that part that I was, I always get to where I can't show you because my battery runs out. So I charged off the battery, I just hope I have enough memory. So anyway, warning graphic, here's my otter. So, got him hung up by both legs. As you saw in previous videos, this one's a male, so you're, sorry, sorry buddy. Uh, got him down, you, you could, just to show you the power of the trap, that's the damage that 330 did. obviously broke his back. That, 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 that got him in really good and yeah it's broken here too so that's the 330 now what i'm where i'm at is down by the head the legs so i'm at the back of the head here it's slow going you've got a juggler well you've got a jugular vein here and another one right there just look at the dark you see the dark line if you cut those you make a mess getting to the paw getting to the leg is a little bit tricky because it's hard to tell where the pelt is and where the uh where it ends but once you get it to that it's a lot easier to deal with so yeah you can cut into the meat don't care about the meat once you get past this part right here you're at a shoulder and then it, it's pretty much easier from there uh under here is a little tricky uh i usually try to get the paws out sometimes what you could do is you could just kind of you know like right now it's really cold out so i'm able to kind of just like rub the uh the pelt in there so i can see where the leg is and once you can see where the leg is you can get them cut down so i'm going to try to do this without getting any blood on uh on the uh belt. so hopefully the angle is good it's as good as it's going to get anyway uh so yeah you should be able to see there hopefully i can get this all done before the memory runs out it's either memory or battery so uh and i got gloves inside of gloves inside of gloves because this guy freezes your hands almost instantaneously so anyway you can see where the leg is i'm just going to keep cutting down there very gently and i'll skin them out and uh, you just work your way slow and you get around the head and stuff like that the idea is to try not to uh, get uh, any blood on the pelt if you can help it and the best way to do that is to get these legs cut out and freed up <sighs> From kind of squish it like that so you see where I, I just can't really see what I'm seeing but you see what I'm doing here where it's just kind of get the, the leg out once you get the leg out life gets a lot easier uh, it's a little bit tricky try to get your thumb to get that don't worry about the meat or like that it's just those two jugular veins that you worry about and where the pelt is again not always easy to see where it is at this point make sure your knife is still good and sharp uh, grab the pelt from areas where you know the pelt is and just kind of pull down and whatever Whatever it takes just to kind of get it You can even kind of like bunch up on it squeeze and then just keep going like that and All of a sudden before you know it you're there So we'll just keep doing that so and Hopefully I can get this done. This is probably the trickiest part because this is where everybody gets messed up, you know, like Where's the pelt? Where's it not? Let's get this leg out of here. And uh, this is why you cut the paws off too. Now the only place he's really going to bleed is those two there. And it's, it's almost impossible to, to not get them. If you can get your finger through the, the leg, it makes it easier too. Uh, but there's also, there's that vein, so you got to watch out for that. Watch your fingers. Sometimes you got to take some weird oddball angles just to get it to go but then, and when he tries to run away on you you just do that and like i say you can kind of squeeze up on the uh, on the pelt and that'll uh, sometimes help pull it down you can get, use your fingers to work it a bit everything's greasy and slippy once you get the blood on there that's the worst because then it makes it just you can't see where you're at and makes it hard and stuff like that after a while you kind of get to know where you, you you're going to be anyway so i'm just going to get this down as far as i can grab that paw or that leg again cut the paws off when, once you get the uh, get through a little bit then it makes you know you, you can get the leg off no problem without worrying about cutting into the pelt and you can avoid the juggler part so very greasy very slippy so just kind of keep working slow 
Again, keep kind of pressuring it a little bit to come down. And I'm gonna see where I'm at here. I really don't wanna hit that yet, so I'll do that last. But you can kind of just rub things down too. If you can find the gap where the leg uh, leg is and you can get a gap in there, sometimes you can get lucky and uh, and uh, and watch your fingers. This is where if you're going to cut yourself, it's going to be it's going to be around this part. So I'm just going to keep working around my head, you know. So I'm going to keep working that. Keep working that. And we'll show to his cheek. Uh, the, the face isn't that... A lot of people have a problem around the head. I find I, I always have a problem around the legs. I'm just getting the legs out. Once you get the legs out, not so bad. So I'm just going to let the camera go until, until, it's, until the battery runs out. But hopefully you guys get the idea of what I'm showing you here. How it... You just take your time and keep working it. You're going to manhandle everything the entire time. Uh, the idea is always cut into the carcass. Just be careful when you're going around his uh, tender parts because uh, very easy to get. And you almost always will cut into uh, the jugular or whatever. So don't be too offended if you do. Just be ready to get the, the mop up rags. Okay. All right, so. further and when I get around the legs I'll show you and then uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> 